Filming and photographing what you're doing on a workbench or tabletop can be difficult. You have to set up a tripod and then working around that setup can be challenging and it can get in the way of what you're doing and what you're making. So what I wanted was a way to be able to suspend my phone or camera above my desktop and leave it there uh, and not have to worry about it. And it wouldn't get in the way of my hands or anything like that. I also wanted to be able to move the camera around the workspace and leave it in different positions. So then uh, I could film what I was doing at different angles. Basically what I wanted was some kind of mechanical arm that would suspend a camera above the workspace and hold it there. Now you can buy articulating arms like this uh, that will suspend a big DSLR camera in any position that you want. But I usually use my phone or my GoPro, uh, maybe even a, a small point and shoot uh, for what I'm filming. So I don't need a big expensive camera mount to uh, film. What I really wanted was a simple, easy solution that I could build with minimal tools uh, and that would work relatively well. So basically what I came up with was using a work lamp and a selfie stick to rig together a contraption that would mount and suspend my phone above my desk and let me film in different positions. Now one of the key things I wanted was to be able to film at different angles. So I wanted to make sure I had a couple different angles of rotation or axes of rotation, sorry, uh, at the end of the camera round. So the camera could rotate at the base and then it would also flex at the, the arm of the mechanical arm and then it would rotate in a couple different directions at the end so I could film in different angles and still leave my camera in that position. So I am filming with uh, the contraption I built right now and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So I'm going to just jump into the build and show you what I did. The only tool I used for this project was my Leatherman and the only construction material I used was some Gorilla Glue. Uh, these were actually the only things I had on hand because I don't have any other tools uh, at the dorm I'm currently staying at. Obviously if you have a full workshop or even a couple of actual tools uh, this project could probably be done a lot easier. Uh, but these were the only things I had on hand and they're completely adequate for getting the project completed. Uh, you can do them with these materials or with whatever materials you have on hand. Uh, it's a pretty simple project. It doesn't require a lot of equipment. Specifically, I'm using the Leatherman Wave and I'm using super glue, uh, Gorilla Super Glue, and I believe this is the thicker up. Maybe not. Whatever. Plain old Gorilla Glue. Super Glue. It works. It works great. So I picked up this desk lamp from the local home improvement store. But you can actually get a pretty similar one at Ikea um, for really cheap. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, but what I was looking for was basically a pretty sturdy lamp that could be mounted to the desk that wouldn't fall over and that had a good range of motion uh, at the end of the lamp where I wanted to mount the phone. I got this selfie stick specifically because it has a quarter inch 20 UNC thread. I also like that the selfie stick could uh, flex and bend. I could only find a one meter USB cable at the dollar store uh, but you probably want something longer because mine was barely long enough to make work. Once you have everything home, it's time to get started.
I mounted my lamp on my desk first and removed the springs so that it would be easier to work on. Then I removed the head of the lamp and cut the cable. The most important part is that little joint at the end of the lamp. I took this apart and took apart the selfie stick and figured out how I want to put it together. Given the materials I had, I decided just to cut the selfie stick portion down and uh, bend the bracket on the lamp a little bit and then just glue everything together. If you have some other tools and some other materials, you can probably do this with a lot more finesse. But super glue and a little bit of elbow grease work great. I did use an excessive amount of super glue, so while I let it dry, I strung the USB cable. Running the USB cable turned out to be a huge challenge and probably was actually the hardest part of this build, uh, mostly because I messed up and broke the USB connector right off the bat and had to go buy another one. Before I did that though, I did a little uh, surgery and figured out how I could remove the case of the USB connector so that it would actually fit down the inside of the lamp. I bought two more USB cables just to be certain. <laughs> I still ended up having to disassemble the lamp almost entirely to run the USB cable through it. So if you're not inclined to have charging capabilities, you could just skip the cable or you could run it on the outside of the lamp. That'll probably work just as well. Ugh. <sighs>
Now for the final assembly, the lamp head joint can be a little tricky to reassemble. Just pay attention when you're taking it apart and uh, make sure that you have it all back together the right way around. I also glued the head of the USB cable back together, which isn't entirely necessary, and mostly just for aesthetics. Once you got it reassembled and plugged it in, it's ready to go. I really enjoyed using this camera mount. I think it would be great for a workbench, a desktop, doing drawings, doing cooking, uh, any of those things. Anytime you want to leave the camera in place uh, and free up your hands, I think it works great. And it's super cheap, super easy to build. So if you do build one of these or build a better one, uh, let me know down in the comments. Or if you have any comments on uh, improvements I could make, uh, leave those there too. I'd love to hear them. Anyways, I'll catch you on the next project.